When Jake was a year old, he was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, cancerous tumors in both eyes. Doctors removed his left eye, but with chemotherapy and radiation, were able to save his right. That right eye has shown him his world. The faces of his parents, his twin sister, Emma, and the things he loves most. Over his 12 years, the cancer came back eight times, and eight times Jake beat it. In September, Jake learned it had come back again, and this time treatment didn't work. Jake learned he would lose that eye too. I said, well, Jake, you know, how you doing, buddy? You okay? And he goes, he goes, yeah, mom. He goes, you know what? He goes, this is just gonna be a new stage in my life. Just sad, like I won't be able to see them ever again. And just like we fought so hard and yet cancer wins. So, but then it's like, well, I'm gonna experience something that no one else can experience. With more than a month before his surgery, Jake told his parents that what he wanted to see most one last time was another USC game. His wish reached Trojan head coach Pete Carroll. The first thing was is let's make sure he gets inside and sees everything he wants to see. And uh, you know, God bless him, he deserves every bit of it. Right when I met this kid, you know, I really felt a connection with him. In just a short time, the Trojans gave Jake a lifetime of memories. What images from all this will you take with you as you go in to surgery and then coming out? I'm going to know what they're, what they look like, like Blake, long blonde hair, Chris, real big, and mustache, or <laughs> beard, and everything. I'm going to take in my parents, my friends, so when I'm, when they're talking to me, I just will picture them in my head. Oh, that's my dad. Oh, that's my mom. Oh, that's my best friend, Connor. It's just, I want to take in as much as I can. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. It's the night before surgery, and Jake wants to spend it with the Trojans. Everybody loves, loves you, Jake, and we can't wait for you to come back. As soon as you get back, come see us, okay? All right. You promise? Yep. Being at the practice and being with the guys and just, you know, it, there wasn't like this intensity of, of what we were confronting the next day. It just turned out to be a really sweet moment and I'll never forget that sight in my mind and Jake, Jake won't either. Give me a big, a big hug, man. Hey, everything's gonna be all right. All right. It was a tough morning. It wasn't the fear of being blind, it was more the fear of, all right, this is like my last minutes of seeing, you know, last hours. That was the fear. I saw a light, like white, kind of. It was like white light, and um, I heard my mom and dad talking to me, which comforted me. And I really didn't feel sorrow because it's already happened. I can move on. I can do whatever I want. You know, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about that day coming. It's already happened. Six days after his surgery, Jake had a promise to keep. Hey, Jake's here. Hey, Jake's here. And this time, it was the Trojans who, after losing to Stanford days earlier, drew inspiration from Jake. All right, guys, you, you lost, but you know what? We'll get them next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. And the year after that and the year. All right, so don't feel bad. We're going to go cream those Bruins. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Trojans! Nice job, Jake. At a young age, I learned that life will bring adversity and challenges. The biggest reason why I overcame, you know, and still have a positive attitude is because I have a strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And no matter what challenge we face, we're all going to be fearful. But what makes us different is how we face our challenge and how we face our fears. And that's in a positive attitude or a negative attitude. Or are you going to let the situation beat you? Or are you going to beat the situation? And every time my cancer came back or I found out that I was going to have to go for some harsh treatment, I wasn't going to let the situation beat me. Even though the cancer did take my eyes, it didn't take my will to go on in life and be the best I can be. 